Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your January 16th to the 31st, 2020 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. So let's dive right in. Now Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, and see what this time period has in store for you. As always, I'm going to start off by putting the spirit guide animal cards over to the side these will be layered on top of the tarot at the end to give more insight more understanding as to what the tarot is saying and to speak more deeply for spirit and it works really quite beautifully okay and now i'm going to shuffle the sacred earth oracle cards so let's see now virgo january 16th to the 31st 2020 virgo January 16th to the 31st, 2020, Virgo. 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 Show me clearly. 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 Fantastic. This one right here, which is Renewal. And actually, this one right back here, which is Clarity. So a renewing of self that brings clarity into the mix, that brings clarity forward. Let's see what your chakra cards have to say. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Virgo, January 16th to the 31st, 2020. Virgo, January 16th to the 31st, 2020, Virgo, January 16th to the 31st, 2020, Virgo, January 16th to the 30, 31st, 2020, Virgo, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, okay, this card right here, jumped out, which is listening, and then there are the angels and the masters, so this is the this is the soul star chakra and oh goodness there we go and this is really a balancing of your chakras there's something virgo like you're worn out you are worn out and you need a renewal of self a renewal of purpose a renewal of soul and you really need to listen to yourself if you do not listen to your inner voice your inner your inner guides speaking to you you'll burn out and that is something that spirit wants me to warn us you of before we even get to the cards okay so let's see what the cards have to say show me clearly virgo january 16th to the 31st 2020 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 Virgo. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. Okay, that's where the cards fell. So that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, Virgo, is the Ten of Wands. You are putting down a burden, you are also focusing on yourself. We then have the this is the temperance card okay and this is Sagittarius energy coming through a time period November 22nd to December 21st then we have the seven of Pentacles patience is definitely needed the eight of wands things really do start to change for you in a big way and you start then to move towards the world card things opening up for you things moving you forward and embrace of self and of soul. Then we have the five of swords. Okay. Questions start coming up and you've had these questions before. You've faced these traumas, these dramas before, and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, why? Why is this happening again? And then we have the two of pentacles. There's a lot that you're balancing right now. The nine of swords, worry, doubt, fear, four of swords, and needing to see the war that you have been through, the challenges that you have been through, and the way that you have overcome. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. There is very much a sense of a call to the, 
to the night within you, to the person who is able to focus on your goals and keep on moving forward. The Knight of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, is this is you. This is you most definitely. This is also a Taurus and a Capricorn shining through. For some strange reason, I put this down and it was like, it wasn't you shining through. It was a Taurus shining through, which I know sounds odd, but be mindful of no, there's Taurus or Capricorn energy around you that will really help you move forward. There is very much a sense of stepping into your knighthood, stepping into your power, but you have wobbly feet because you're being renewed, because you've been through so much that there's actually going to be here a sense of needing to kind of step back, needing to embrace a renewal of self, needing to clarify things, listening, okay? So we have the throat chakra shining through, and the show throat chakra is all about your throat, your communication, but here it's listen. Listen to your body, listen to yourself, listen to those who truly, absolutely love you. Virgo, that is going to be so absolutely important during this time, to listen to the words of love. And it can just be from your spirit guide coming in and saying, Virgo, I have your back, I have you. Do not doubt, do not fear. Let, let the, the tension go. Right? Listen to what your body is saying. Listen to the words that you are saying to yourself in those quiet moments. All right? Because you're going to find that a lot of them, they're not going to be ways that you would even talk to strangers. You're going to be rather shocked by the vocabulary that you're using towards yourself. Step back and step into your power. Step into your power by knowing that it first starts with your words, with your declarations to yourself. And those are going to be so terribly important during this time. And then we have here the angels and the messengers. You need to have yourself aligned. Now, the star, the soul star chakra is located six inches above your crown chakra. And the throat chakra is located in the middle of your throat. Both of these need healing and both of these need cleansing. So I would definitely envision that area. I would put in the golden light of spirit all around it. I would, you know, just sit there and see the power that is surrounding your voice, that is surrounding your soul connection that helps you move forward. Because here, by your soul chakra, by, not your soul chakra, your soul star chakra, being in line with yourself, you have all the other chakras starting to fall into alignment, starting to move you forward, and starting to really connect you with your heavenly goals, with your goals of the universe. Then we move to a renewal. You are being renewed. There is something about this time. And I would say it has been going on since the Sagittarian time frame. And I would actually give this a whole year. And I know you're going to sit there and be like, Dane, this is from January 16th to January 31st. Don't be putting the whole year in here, okay? I know we just started, all right? But bear, bear with me. Sagittarian energy is really shining through strongly. So either you have a strong pull towards a Sagittarius or there is a sense here of that time period, November 22nd to December 21st, being very, very, very powerful for you. So I would say from November 22nd to December 21st, 2019, to November 22nd to December 21st, 2020, all right? So pretty much, it's, it's, a, whole car it's a whole year, pretty much here coming forward. And there's a renewal of self. There is a stepping back into your power. For some reason, there is a sense of having stumbled, of having been overwhelmed. And it doesn't mean that you have to have stumbled in a big way, it can be a very small way, but there is something here that has rattled you. And now you are renewing yourself and you are rising like the phoenix from the ashes towards your power, towards your grace, and towards the place that you need to stand. And as you do so, the beacon of your heart, I'm just seeing this pretty much as a lighthouse right here, is calling to you, follow that light. Follow the light of spirit as it leads you forward. Because then we have clarity. We have a clarity coming in, a wiping away of doubts, of fears, of apprehensions, of looking at things a very certain way and saying, okay, this is the only way that it can be. It only has to be like this. There is a clarity coming in and you're going to see a path that you really hadn't envisioned before. And you're going to find a balance between the spiritual world and the earthly plane that is going to be a, a pillar of hope to you as you move forward, but the clarity is also coming as you embrace the world, as you embrace the world and you move forward, you grow and you understand. You understand more about yourself. This here, I'm seeing this as a piece of fruit, okay? And it's kind of like even the littlest seed 
makes the biggest of differences. And then we have at your heart right here, the 10 of wands. The 10 of wands is passion and it's creativity. It's an end of a cycle. And you have been fighting for this for quite some time. You have been through a war. But know here, there's going to be a part of you that wants to hide away, that is like, oh my gosh, what the heck is going on now? What is going on? You need time to rest. You need time to renew yourself. You need time to see that beacon of light as you move forward. Because again, the four of swords is having been through a war. Because in medieval times, and how this is depicted in the Rider Waite Smith deck, is that you have a sarcophagus. Well, it's not really a sarcophagus, but it's a stone tomb. And I forget what those are called, and I always do whenever I'm doing my readings. And in medieval times, what would happen is a knight would lay in his coffin after he came back from battle and think of all the ways that he shouldn't have come back, all the ways that he should have perished. And so that's kind of what you're doing now, not at something as, you know, morbid as laying in your coffin, but there is a sense here of looking at all the failures, all the disappointments that have riddled your life. And for some, that's really going to be taking over. Stop it. <laughs> and I know that's really easy to say, but once you get into that headspace and that spiral, it becomes too much, but you're going to need to step back. Because if you do this, the what ifs, the, you know, oh my gosh, you know, the, I've looked at this the wrong way, look at this, look at that pain, look at that, it can take over your whole entire life and it can really seriously just take over. And Spirit is saying here that you are renewed, you are reinstated, you are, you are invigorated with a new power. And that comes from only carrying your burdens. That comes from looking at your passion, your creativity, and what you want, you want to create within this world and holding on to it. Because as you do so, you move forward in your truth. As you do so, you see the clarity of what it is that you want. But if you put the burdens of everybody else onto your shoulders, or if you start thinking, okay, my actions can save this person, can save that person, can, and you, you think that it, <laughs> Spirit is showing me a superhero. So it's kind of like you want to be a superhero towards this. And I don't mean this in any bad way whatsoever. I know times in my life where, and I still do it, where I think, oh my gosh, I can just handle everything. And then you wind up burning out. And that's what Spirit is warning me to tell you, is wanting me to tell you, is warning you of, do not let yourself burn out because it can, it, it can be close. It can be close to a burnout, to being overwhelmed. Carry your burdens, carry your truth, carry your power, why you were born into this world and who it is that you are. Name your truth, name your worth, and it is for you. Even if you have children and you're sitting there and you're saying, Dane, I live for them. Yes, yes, especially if you have a little kid, like you do everything for them. They are completely and utterly helpless. And sometimes you look and you think, wow, you know, who would ever think that you can go from this to an adult? I mean, seriously. Seriously, it just boggles the mind. So know that you've already boggled the mind. You've already become the adult that you need to be. You've already stepped into your power, all right? And you're embracing your grace each and every day. Do not walk away from those who truly and absolutely need you, but also know that you cannot be the superhero for people because that's too much of a burden to put on your shoulders. You're going to want to. You're going to want to sit there and say, I can take care of everybody and everything, and I am you know, this hero, and you are, but you are first the hero to yourself. And as you move forward, you are going to find that the Sagittarian energy, this sense of coming into your passion, coming into your own, of looking at what it is that you want, of rising out of a purely emotional state to also have your heart be balanced with your mind and say, okay, this is what I need. This is how I need to move forward will trump this doubt, this fear, this chaos that is keeping you up at night. There is a sense here of connecting with your true self, of connecting with your power. And you've come to a conclusion, November 22nd, again, December 21st, but you will see that, that conclusion put into action. And I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be exactly the way that you had had planned. So be prepared for a balance coming in, for feeling overwhelmed, feeling as if you're not handling things correctly. You are, okay? But you need to step back. You need to step back and look at yourself because here there is the passion. There is the chaos that comes in. There is this rising from the waters and saying, okay, I know. I know my truth. And this connecting with people, you have a tremendous way of connecting with people. Do not give up the many for the few. And I know that sounds funny, 
because you might be sitting there and saying, Dane, what the heck are you talking about? But do not give up the way that you can connect with many, many, many people for just a handful that aren't going to appreciate exactly what you are doing for them. All right? I'm not talking about your family at all, but I am talking about like, a sharing of ideas and expression of self. There's going to be something here where you step into your power and you step into that power by, by using your gifts. And the Sagittarian gifts are the way that they can connect with people, the, the conversations that they have, the walking with all manners of, of life, all manners of people, all manners of existence, all manners of creation, and really using that towards your advantage. That's where you thrive. And there's something here that is making you doubt and fear that you'll ever be able to do that again. You'll ever be able to walk in your passion, in your truth, the way that you were born to, the way that you need to. Let that doubt and fear die away. And I know it's really easy to say, but when it's keeping you up at night and you're watching YouTube videos instead of sleeping because, oh my gosh, your mind just won't stop, you know, it doesn't happen. But here, there is a stepping into your understanding and it's saying that, yes, there is fear and yes, there is apprehension and yes, your sleep might be robbed from you, but do not let your fear take over because if you do, you will very easily twirl down that rabbit hole, okay? Then you have the world card. The world is opening up to you. You are growing to new heights. You are embracing new passions and new understandings. And as you do so, you are the knight of the earth. You are the knight of pentacles, prosperity, success, bounty. Do not get pulled off your path. You see here how his head is down and he's really focusing on galloping forward. And there's someone here who's like, oh, no, look at this. Look at what you can have here in this forest instead of moving forward to where you need to be. There is something here where it's either you can clip your wings or you can fly to new heights. Let yourself fly. Let yourself fly. And it comes from doing, again, what you were born to do. The person you were born born to be and not the person that everybody else wants you to be. There is a title that you have within your heart. Spirit is saying it to you. Let yourself live it. Let yourself embrace it because here you are going through a battle that you have been through before. And you might say, Dean, I have never been through a time like this before. Or Dean, I don't even know what you're talking about. And this is something that happened in a past life. This is something that happened in a past life and you're looking at it now and it's kind of triggering things, okay? It's kind of bringing up memories and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, hits the bullseye, hits the bullseye. And you're like, what the heck is going on? Why is this so intense for me? Why am I reacting to things this way? It's because it's a past life experience coming forward into the forefront of your mind. And here, the changes, they happen really, really fast. You do conquer things, but be mindful. It's because it's setting you on a road where you are mentally exhausted. You are mentally exhausted. So you have to step back. And as you step back, you step into your power. Okay. But again, there is a truth to you and do not let anybody speak over that truth. Spirit is saying it is so absolutely important to remember your voice, the voice that is why you are here. This is what you were born to do. You were born to face down, you know, this the sense of doubt and the sense of fear and to claim the title of your truth, to claim your power, to listen to yourself, to listen to the angels and the messengers and have your chakras fall into an alignment, a renewal of soul, the rising of the fear, phoenix that brings the clarity of self, the power of self as you move forward. As you do so, you're juggling a lot, okay? You have spiritual tr truth, you have earthly truth. There's also a sense of, you know, a part of you singing to the younger self, you know, to your younger self, to your child self, and you're, you're making the world dance. And it's fun. It really is. But the balancing of the spiritual and the earthly desires are going to come together, and they're going to come together in a rather abrupt way. But they're not going to let you pick the fruit of what you truly want until later on. It's kind of like you've gotten so much closer, but yet you're also, there's also this sense of impatience because now you can see it, now you can see the beauty and the prosperity and the bounty of everything, but they say, wait, all right? So here, it can very well be that the Sagittarian energy really does help you move forward. It helps you embrace this passion, embrace this understanding, but there's this doubt in this fear, in the sense of, oh my gosh, will the battle never end? Will I be able to walk forward? And what it's saying is you have to release the desire to please everybody but yourself. 
and I know it's going to be hard for you, Virgo, because you're a giver. Even if it's, you know, not to people, if you sit there and say, oh, well, people just take advantage and they're jerks, but you give to your animals completely or you give to your plants completely. There's something always, Virgo, that you are nurturing and you are growing. It could be your creativity. It could be your work. It could be, you know, a myriad of things. Insert your greatest passion and you nurture that like, like a mother nurturing their young. Okay, to have it grow, to have it thrive, and to have it almost be a separate part of you. But here, there is a sense that if you let everybody else's desires take over the desire of your heart, your soul, and yourself, you will start to wither. And spirit doesn't want you to wither. Spirit wants you to thrive to absolute heights and absolute power, to have the world open up to you in such a way. And the world has been open up to you. It's at your roots, okay? And I know you're going to sit there and say, Dean, how has the world been opened up to me? If it's at my roots, I should know that there is an infinite possibility, you know, infinite possibilities that I can achieve anything. Well, sometimes, you know, we, we don't realize that. It's at your root. It was, again, what your seed was planted in, what you were born to be is to embrace the world, to be this knight, to be this defender, to be this person who moves forward be, like throughout the world, throughout you know, all, all barriers and still feels comfortable and still has the essence of themselves shine through. And that's here. I'm not talking about that literally because I know, you know, setting off here and setting off there on, on planes and everything like that, I mean, that's ridiculous. Who can do that? But there is a sense here of you being connected to a higher calling and you being able to relate to people who, you know, emotionally, personally, that you do not have that, you know, you didn't grow up in the same place. You don't have that same connection, that same, you know, bond. You, I hope you know what I'm saying because there's a sense here of kind of the egg being opened and the chick coming forward and you really seeing that you can fly to tremendous heights but you have to remember your roots. You have to remember what you were born to be and who you are internally. Okay, your heart. And you're going to try during this time to want to change things to be what somebody else wants you to be. Don't Virgo. Don't because you're balancing your spiritual and your prosperity and you're coming together having fought a war that was fought before and you are embracing your t power, your truth. Do not let doubts and fears take over your own logic and your own connection with spirit. Now let's see what your spirit guide animal cards have to say. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Virgo, January 16th to the 31st, 2020, Virgo. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me clearly. All right, and I'm just going to lay these out quietly. Okay, so at the heart of everything is the ho horse spirit, which says freedom is yours. You're completing a cycle. You're putting down a burden. You are going to see that freedom is a part of you, and you have to move towards that freedom, move towards that calling of self. That's just what you have to do, but do not lose sight of, of you in this, because there is a sense of being caught up, and there is a sense of kind of running wild and free, and yeah, not being exactly on the path that you you want to be. So don't get caught up. Stay very focused on your goals, very focused on your passion, and let yourself evolve because the freedom will be yours. It's just going to take a bit of time, right? And then you're going to be so glad you're going to sit there and think, you know what? I had to put in my time. I had to do what I didn't want to do to get to where it is that I want to be, but I am so happy with the results. And then we have the wombat spirit, which says, be at home. Be at home 
you have the number four, which is about home, okay? But with the war that you have fought, with the things that you have overcome, be at home within your own skin, be at home within yourself and give yourself credit for what you have achieved and the way that you are moving forward. Then we have the crow spirit, which says co-create with spirit. As you embrace the Sagittarius energy, as you use the waters, as you use the creation of life to move you forward, as you connect and you understand as you connect with a multitude of people, as you can understand a million different pathways, co-create with spirit. Let spirit be the most powerful voice inside of you because it, is, it isn't going to let you down. It is going to guide you and it is going to guide you within the darkness to a beautiful and powerful light. Then we have the electric eel spirit, which says, bring your ideas into life. Do not let fear and doubt hold you back. Do not let them keep you silent, keep you mute, keep you from speaking your truth. Let yourself bring your ideas into life and let yourself speak your power because there's something, Virgo, that's really going to be holding your tongue at this time. It's like you don't want to upset anybody. You don't want to disappoint anybody. You think your ideas might be stupid. You know, you're going to sit there and be like, oh my gosh, you know, how could this ever be anything? Look at, look, look at who I am. You know, how will anybody ever take me seriously? No, bring your ideas into life. Speak them into reality. Listen to what your heart is saying because listening to yourself and listening to spirit is going to be your greatest guide during this time. And you're going to see that what you truly fear is, isn't going to be what... It's like there's a fear of rejection or there's a fear of not being able to live to your dreams. There's a fear, there's a fear, there's a fear. And it's masking the humongous talent that you actually have, the absolutely unbelievable talent that is you. There's a sense here of you claiming your birthright and you claim your birthright and you walk into your power, but do not throw your birthright away. You know, that's what spirit is saying. Do not throw it away because you are aligning your soul and yourself. You are renewing the energy that is you. And as you do so, the miracles become part of the reality. And it says the miracles are endless. As the world opens up to you, as you embrace the world, the miracles are endless and the miracles are absolutely bountiful. And you might sit there and think, okay, you know, it's the cow, it's the cow spirit. You don't really think anything of a cow, right? But there is something beautiful within the mundane or within the unexpected or the undervalued. And you're really going to see that during this time. And it's going to be exquisite for you. Then we have the hawk spirit, which says, let spirit be your guide. As you are moving forward, don't be guided by anybody else. Be guided by spirit. Be guided by your heart's truth and watch the doors open. Watch yourself move forward with more power, more vigor, more prosperity, and more bounty of self. This brings you to the lion spirit, which says here, be generous of spirit. Not sit there and think, oh my gosh, I'm always going to have to be fighting this fight or you know, this has taken me off guard. I, I really do have to defend myself. Something to that effect, be generous of spirit. Always move forward with humility and with prosperity and with bounty of self and know that no matter what battles you face, you are victorious and they are tremendous learning curves for you, but they are tremendous teachers for you to move you towards the place that spirit has and div that divinity has divinely ordained for you. This then leads you to the canary spirit, which says, sing your own song. Sing your own song as you walk away from what you once thought you would love, as you leave behind. This is an ending. This is an ending as severe as a divorce. As you leave it behind, sing your own song. State your own truth. Fly forward in your own goals. Do not you know, sit there and, and change who it is you, that you innately are for somebody else. No, move forward. And you're going to find that by walking away, you gained a tremendous freedom. You gained a tremendous freedom that is absolutely positively beautiful for you and has you moving towards the person that you need to be. This leads you to being at home within yourself and knowing that spirit is your guide and letting spirit guide you forward. This then moves you to the skunk spirit, which says, know your worth. As you are balancing so much, as you are you know, making the fairies dance, know your own worth and know your worth as a child knows their worth. You know, you sit there and you're taking care of a little kid and they're just kind of like, well, why can't I be the center of your universe? They cry and they scream and they throw things and they need your attention all the time. 
I'm not saying that you are as needy as a baby, but I am saying that children know their worth, know yours, know your worth, and claim it. Even if others mock you, even if others sit there like the skunk and say, oh my gosh, you smell terrible, you know, claim your worth and say, I'm part of the divine and that makes me absolutely beautiful and absolutely unstoppable. This then leads you to the koi fish spirit, which says things are, that says there is always enough with the prosperity and the bounty that is blooming, with the opportunities that are coming your way. There is always enough. You might not see it right away. You might sit there and be like, oh, what the heck is going on? You have to be patient. It's a long-term thing. It's a long-term thing that is coming forward. And as you see it, as you move forward in the prosperity, you will see that there is always enough to provide for you. There is always enough to lead you forward. There is always enough to be graced with. And this leads you to bringing your ideas to life, not sitting there and mocking yourself and belittling yourself and being at home with your own talents and within your own power. Okay, let's see now, Virgo. Your subconscious message, of course, is the eagle spirit, and it says spirit has your back. Spirit always has your back. It will be a fierce protector of you. This is your spirit animal subconscious message. Your subconscious message with the chakra cards is forgiveness, learning how to forgive, learning how to forgive those who came before you, learning how to forgive yourself, and learning how to forgive when you stumble. That is going to be so important. And a healing and a cleansing of the heart chakra is going to be one of the most freeing things you can do for yourself. This then leads you to the sacred earth. And this says magnetism. You are drawing to you exactly what it is that you need. You have a tremendous magnetism to you. You have a tremendous power to you. Do not poo-poo it. Your subconscious message for this whole entire reading is the nine of cups. There is a radiance to you, a radiance, a beauty, a joy, a power. Let people see it. Let people see it because it moves you forward in a way that is absolutely breathtaking. And it absolutely calls to your heart. Let yourself move forward in this radiance and, excuse me, and the whole world will follow you. All right, Virgo, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you, and I love you all. Bye.